Hello everyone, I'm Hunter Wilson, and today we're talking about how to make flying via the keyboard a hell of a lot better. Now, most of you know, if you play on PC, that flying with the keyboard is pretty bad by default. So I'm going to tell you about a better flying scheme layout slash layout for your keyboard. Alright, let's get started. There is a one-handed method and a two-handed method. The one-handed method uses only your left hand, so it can get a little tiring. The two-handed method uses mostly your right hand and some of your left hand. So to set up the one-handed method, first we're going to hit Escape, go to Settings, click on Key Bindings, and then we're going to go over here to the Aircraft tab. Now, I've already changed my settings so that they are set to the one-hand and two-handed method because you can set both. So for throttle up, I used left shift. For throttle down, down uh, left control. For yaw left, Q. Yaw right, E. Roll left, A. Roll right, D. Pitch forward, W. And pitch back, S. Now, you'll notice that I use Q and E. That means you will have to remap those keys to some other key. Q, by default, is the radio, which I remap to R. Um, it'll ask, you, and then you'll have to remap the uh, focus camera as well. But I, I barely use that, so I remapped it to something, some key I don't use. Um, e functions for VTOL mode in the Hydra and for the uh, pickup thing on the Cargo Bob. Uh, I just remap that to B. Um, other than that, the controls are otherwise fine to remap. Alright, let's uh, take it for a whirl. Alright, so here we are in our helicopter, and I'm flying one-handed. So I use left shift to throttle up, left control to throttle down, A to yaw left, or to roll left, D to roll right, S to pitch up, W to pitch down, Q to yaw left, E to yaw right. Now, the other convenient thing is if you're in a helicopter, like say an attack helicopter like the Buzzard, the space bar is your attack key. So you've got all your functions literally at one on one hand. It takes a little getting used to, but once you get used to it, um, this is really a no-brainer. It's using all your left hand and it's excellent for those of you who are very good at multitasking. This leaves your right hand free to do whatever the hell you want to do with it. So if I want to, say, look around and fly at the same time, I can. Alright, now let me show you what this looks like with a plane. Alright, so we're in our plane now. We're using left shift to throttle up. And it takes some getting used to, but in order to turn while you're grounded, you've got to use Q and E, because those are your yaw. Alright, S to pitch up, and then retract the gears with G, W to pitch down, A to roll left, S to pitch up of course, D to roll right, Q for rudder, E for also, also for rudder. And the plane is a little harder to get used to, um, but once you get the hang of it, one-handed flying with the plane will become natural. Alright, now let me show you the two-handed method, because the one-handed method can get tiring on your on your fingers, especially when you're flying planes, because your pinky is holding down the throttle the whole time. Okay, now for the two-handed method. Like I said, I have both um, settings enabled on my keys, and here's how you do that. So again, we're going to go to settings, key bindings, aircraft. Now, for the two-handed method, um, you can enable both at the same time. Alright, so what I did was I set yaw left to 4, yaw right to 6, yaw, or sorry, roll left to 1, roll right to 3, pitch forward to 5, and pitch back to 2. Now you'll notice I didn't use the 7, 8, and 9 keys, and the reason was because 7 for me also is the home button, 
also functions as the home button when I'm hitting shift. So that means I would pull up the Rockstar Social Club and that was a pain in the butt for me. So this is the settings I used. If you don't have 7 acting as home, you can also use 7. You can move these all one key up. So whatever you feel like. Alright, now let's give this a shot. I'll show you both the plane and the helicopter. And we'll be good to go. Alright, we're here on the runway. Shift to throttle up. And we're going to use 2 to pull back. Pitch up. Retract our gear with G. And we're going to use 5 to pitch down. 1 to roll left. 3 to roll right. 4 to yaw left. And 6 to yaw right. And that's really all there is to it for the plane. This makes the plane easier, and it doesn't kill your pinky like the one-handed method does. Um, if you're flying a Hydra or a laser, you can use the space bar in your left hand to shoot. So now I'll show you how the helicopter looks. Here we are in our helicopter, now using the two-handed method. So left shift to throttle up again. Two to pitch up. Five to pitch forward. One to roll left. Three to roll right. Left control to throttle down. And four to yaw left. Six to yaw right. Now the beauty of this control scheme is obviously its simplicity and its not confusing compared to Rockstar's original design, but also you can uh, pilot military aircraft with it as well. Right now I'm using uh, a shift to throttle up, space bar to fire, left control if I need to throttle down, I can hit tab if I want to change weapons, and I'm using the number, number pad um, for guidance. So this control scheme works well for pretty much anybody. It takes a little getting used to, but otherwise it's I've found it to be really awesome when I need to use the keyboard to fly. So good luck, um, good flying, and I'll see you in the game.